Good morning. Happy Easter. Holy Week. Winding down in the Philippines. Just dropped a new video. Hey, Jordan, wow, back on your game first. Okay, okay. Until now, Jordan. Just dropped a new video. Yesterday's live got like 2.5 thousand. Yo, yo, yo. Jordina in the building. Serene Self. Happy Easter. Thank you, my friend. It's so easy to fall in love. Just up the new bit of Rooney. 161 views in like 40 minutes. comments to respond I will always do yeah I don't know you missed yesterday completely I think got a couple comments on the vid Apollo what's up brother good to see you which direction is the view today uh same same Makati Apollo Grain Jordan Serene Self happy Easter guys Holy Week is winding down it's a big thing here in the Philippines Tried to go live. Yes, didn't see my live. Oh, all good, bro. I was gonna say I missed you yesterday. Where you at now, Apollo? Know you've been moving around the Philly Willy. Ba, ba, ba. Streaming on my 13 Pro Max today. 12 people in the building, but yeah, so why I chose to show you guys BGC and Boracay rather than show you Dumaguete and Angeles City like everybody else. A lot of guys go to Dumaguete because of the comfortability of getting to meet Old Dog and people like that. Apollo, holy shit, brother. Salute for the $100. Wow. Damn, bro. Quickly becoming a huge supporter of this stream. Damn. Jensen, nice, brother. Damn. Sponsoring the motherfucking stream of Apollo Crane. Just woke me up with that. Damn. On fire. You're in Makati Day. Is that your lit? Yeah, yeah. Um, damn, bro. Salute. We'll go back to Manila today. Oh, okay. Got you. Got you. Nice. Yeah, it's good to move around. I always tell guys, I think you've been here many times, but I always tell guys, you got to move around. You can't stay in one place. You got to, like go to many different places guys just come to BGC and then they stay in BGC or they meet a girl or they like the comfort of BGC but BGC is not really giving you a real taste of what all the Philippines has to offer you got to see that white sand beach you got to go to the province you got to go to all those places salute to Apollo Crane sponsoring the stream right out the gate Jan Sand going back to Manila yeah everybody just goes to Dumaguete because that's where their favorite blogger is or they go to Angeles City because the big bloggers there or whatever but I wanted to show guys, you know, maybe that have a little bit of a bigger budget or guys that still want some of that convenience or, you know, Boracay obviously got tons of white women everywhere and tons of gorgeous Filipinas and those white sand beaches. It's just a little bit different. How much should I pay for a one bedroom, one bath condo? I prefer Cebu, but open to Manila. You can get them as cheap as 20K or less in Cebu, maybe 16K in Cebu, but it's not really a one bedroom. It's, it's a Jordan, get off his nuts <laughs> for fuck's sake. Yeah, Adventures of Alexander. Salute to Apollo, sponsor in the stream right out the gate, out there in Jensen. 
But yeah, you guys got to move around. If you come here for a 30 day discovery trip, go to like place for like four days. If you're looking for ladies, hop on the dating sites or do cold approach and then just Apollo Crane, happy Easter, bless your heart. Yes, George, uh, outstanding Apollo, yes. Salute to Apollo, huge supporter. Um, yeah, so at the end of the day, um, I suggest people that have never been here, just come out and just go, like spend four days in BGC, four days in Cebu, four days in Boracay, four days in Chargao, four days in Bohol, and many other places. You know, if you meet a girl in an obscure area or whatever, just go there and spend like, after about four days, you've seen all that it has to offer and you've met whoever is there and keep it moving because you might find your paradise or where you want to live. Why did I block, unblock Alexandria? I don't know. I don't know what's going on with you two. Apollo has only, Apollo has been a huge donator already. He's, he's, he's definitely up there uh, sponsoring the whole stream, brother. Um, but yeah, I just think a lot of guys just get stuck in BGC or they go to meet a girl in like Mactan or something and they just stay there for a month. You haven't really seen the Philippines. I mean, even I have so many more places to go to, but you want to see a beach. You want to see multiple cities. You want to see multiple beaches. You know, if you got 30 days, man, you'll be bored after four or five days unless you get locked into a relationship, guys. So I, I wanted to show people BGC and Boracay because there's no real vloggers in Boracay. When I first came to BGC in 2022 and started vlogging, there wasn't really anybody but Merge Him, maybe. And he's a, you know, a different type of vlogger than myself. So I wanted to show... Lita Aquino, yeah, I wanted to show a different thing. A lot of the guys in my community have money. They're not looking to live on, you know, a thousand bucks a month and do Maggetti or 1500 a month or whatever. Jordan Moby Vlogs, how you doing? Yeah, yeah, I mean, they're just not, you know, they have a big budget and they want to see the best that the Philippines has to offer and I believe that those are the best. Jo Jordan, I'm sorry, but Jasper can't accept food stamps. Yeah, exactly, sorry, Jordan. <laughs> no, I mean, at the end of the day, you go wherever you're comfortable, you go wherever that girl is that you met, but if you're just rolling, you fly into Cebu or Manila, and then just keep it moving. You don't need to spend, get a 30 day Airbnb unless you just wanna lock your stuff there and move around and have a nice, you know, keep your big suitcase there. You gotta move around, you gotta see stuff. You don't wanna, just like you don't wanna settle with the first girl you meet, you don't wanna settle on the first island that you meet. You wanna move around and see what's good. Wisdom Seeker, what's good? Todd, oh my God, salute, brother. Haven't seen you in a few days. Jester's Journey, Good Friday. It's uh, it's uh, Easter Sunday, sir. What are you talking about, good Jester? Todd in the building, salute. Alex, keep it up. What the fuck is going on here? Sweetie, hello. Sweetie, are you, uh, are you Eva? What's going on with Sweetie? I feel like Sweetie changed her name or something. Yes, guys. So that's why I chose BGC and Boracay is because a lot of guys came to this channel to learn how to not live on 800 bucks a month or how to not just go to Dumaguete and settle down with a girl and you know be in a place with no Grab, no Starbucks, no of the Western conveniences, you know? Hello, ma'am, Lita, you know, be safe. Hello, Lita, Emma, so to y'all, yeah. I mean, so some of the guys in my community have bigger, bigger budget. What's wrong, Jordan, did you lose your, oh, I can't even say that word, sir. 30 people in the building, salute to Apollo, sponsor the stream. Jester's Journey is talking about Friday. It's Easter Sunday, I think. Uh, Saturday in... Jesus, my phones are going crazy. Adventures and Jordan are beefing now. They were best bros and now they're... Thank you for the advice. The reason why I support the channel. Thank you to all the supporters for supporting this man, though, through good and bad times. Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. Yeah, means a lot. This channel basically... The, the only way this channel stayed alive is guys like Neanderthal, Adventures you, Ben Brooks, all the people that really support it. I mean, obviously, uh, you know, you don't make shit on videos. I'm not a big YouTuber. If I get 4,000 views, you guys know that doesn't really make any money. Hey, legend, man. Todd, you know, all my supporters over the, over the last year, obviously the big supporters, that's how this channel stays alive. Smash 42,000, 42.1 already. They, they took care of that problem. Just your journey, enjoy. Yeah, just your journey. It's Saturday in America and it's Sunday in the Philippines. I don't know why you said Good Friday, sir. But yeah, um, I wanted to show guys, you know, a different side of the Philippines. A lot of guys just come here and go to Dumaguete and that's all they got. Um, I think there's more to the Philippines than Dumaguete and Angela City. I know those are the most popular places. There's a couple vloggers in Cebu, obviously, but I think the best comfort levels that the Philippines has to offer is BGC. 
Cebu IT Park is good. Now, a lot of people don't need to live like that. A lot of guys are like ex-military or they know how to rough it or they can build a house in the province like it's me or whatever. But Boracay is probably the most comfortable island as in Western conveniences and just beauty and everything. Um, so I wanted to show guys that. A lot of guys in this community have big budgets. They're six-figure guys. And, you know, they don't necessarily just want to go settle down and do Maggetti and have a brownout every five minutes. Okay, okay, happy Sunday. What was I thinking? Yeah, how dare you? Hey, Nako, me, Jordan Moby Vlogs. Jordan, I feel you, haha. <laughs> Sweetie, are you Eva? I I'm confused. I haven't seen Eva come in, and Sweetie says she lives in Connecticut as well. I think maybe Sweetie is Eva, but I'm completely lost. But yeah, salute to Apollo, and I appreciate the kind words, and yeah, thank you to everybody that supported me over the last year. Uh, basically, that's how this channel has stayed alive, is like consultations, donations, memberships. Uh, you don't make... Uh, a fortune or enough to really even keep going off of videos unless you're getting you know a hundred thousand views a video or if you're filipina p or you have a patreon or something yeah i was gonna say it's gotta be eva right i want the loft style apartment i like that type yeah i mean that's gonna run you big money like they have lofts at gramercy that probably a thousand bucks a month or something i mean those loft style apartments are, are big money brother hello sweetie how many how, how many uh we're, we're not too far i'd have to check the exact count but yeah we smacked 40 42 we're now 42. I'll take the life, but near beach. Yeah, that's cool. But when you're at the beach, you lose the convenience of the skyscrapers and the infinity pools and stuff. But most people are cool with that. If I had a nicer place in Boracay, I'd probably stay there all the time. But for the channel's sake, people seem to like the city. People like the city walk and talks better. I don't know why my viral video is walking on the beach, but in my poll, it said that. Eva most said yes. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought, Eva. I was like, wait a second. There's two Filipinas that live in Connecticut. I kind of figured that, sweetie. Uh, sweetie, likewise, I've seen one on Marketplace 15K. A loft for 15K? Where is it? In Tondo? How the hell are you going to get a loft for that? Most of these 15K, 20K places are shoe boxes. They're fucking, you know, 300 square feet. So I don't know. Karen, but like your host. Okay, Karen Ballad. Yes. Hit the like, guys. We got 34 people watching and 9 likes. Salute to Apollo for sponsoring the stream. I appreciate the kind words. And yeah, that's basically how this channel has stayed alive. And what's made it all make sense is the, is the big donators like Todd and Adventures, Apollo now, Ben Brooks, Neanderthal. Uh, I'm sure I'm forgetting a ton of people, so let me shut up here. Jesters, that's how it's spelt. 35 people, smash the like, guys. Just dropped a new video. Already got a couple hundred views in like the first 45 minutes. Um, you know, hadn't dropped a video in like 10 days. But yeah, we do the lives every single day. Yeah, I, I always thought that too with the beach. The problem is you're missing out. They don't really have like taxis. They don't have grab delivery food. So when it's low season and it's stormy, you got to hike a mile or two to get your Starbucks. You got to hike a mile or two to get some food. Um, you're just missing out on some of that convenience. So the perfect life is to go back and forth or to hit a different beach and just get a hotel room or whatever. But, you know, everybody has their different comfort levels. XI Chan, whoop, whoop. Happy Easter. Hi, everyone here in the live chat. Hey, Karen Ballad. How are you? Where are you from? Yes, you're forgetting me. Yeah, Jordan's been a supporter in the past, doesn't anymore. He now donates all to TikTok streamers. But, you know, we appreciate Jordan anyway, because he's kind of like our high pitch Eric. The loft was in IT Park Cebu. It's not 15K. That's a scam. There's no fucking way you're getting a loft, like a real deal two-story loft in IT Park in Cebu. You're looking at, I don't know, 50, 60K minimum. Ba -ba -ba. My screen time is down 15%. But, yeah, I mean, it just depends... But yeah, there's a uh, loft is always going to run like 50 K in the city, unless it's like, you know, a 20 square meter loft. I was here at Philippines host. Oh, okay, cool. Whereabouts, Karen, tell us about yourself. But yeah, many good places in the Philippines, but I chose to not just move to Dumaguete and become another Dumaguete vlogger. I wanted to show you guys the absolute best that the Philippines has to offer from, you know, BGC to Boracay to Shargao to Bohol to, you know, Cebu IT Park is great too. Thank you, sweetie. Happy Easter to you. I forgot me too. Bang yeah, no, no, you're, no, you definitely, uh, Jester used to be a huge donator before, uh, before, uh, <laughs> just fuck with you, Jester. Jester's the man. He definitely is a huge donator. Uh, thank you, sweetie. Happy Easter to you. Yes, sweetie is Eva, guys. I was trying to figure out who the hell sweetie is. Todd, Todd's back. Yeah, I was wondering where Todd was at. Karen Ballad. Yeah, Karen, uh, how old are you? Where are you from? Tell us more about yourself, Karen. But yeah, um, there's many good areas in the Philippines. I don't really think Dumaguete is that spectacular. I don't really think Angeles City is that spectacular. Um, 
I think there's enough vloggers in those places for you guys to decide. IT Park is overrated, not enough for me to entertain me full time. PGC, that's what I'm saying, Exai Chan. I agree. So IT Park is nice, but it's too small and it's still a wannabe BGC that's like, you know, one one hundredth of the size. It's good if you must live in Cebu, if your future wife lives in Cebu, or you gotta be by the waterfalls of Cebu, or some reason that you've chosen Cebu. Most guys choose Cebu because it's much easier to get a girlfriend in Cebu than it is in Manila, or BGC in Makati to be exact. Yes, I've enjoyed this channel immensely. Salute, Todd, I appreciate you, bro. I was 32 years old, living in northern Luzon. Hi, Todd. Okay, Karen, nice. You should do a call-in with us. Maybe you want to call in, huh? But yeah, I mean, uh... I just think there's more to the Philippines than some of those heavily populated areas by bloggers. And I think a lot of guys that come out here that are from my channel have a big budget. They might have 10 grand a month, five grand a month, and they want to be in the ultimate comfort. So that's why I showed those areas and why I chose those areas for myself initially on arriving here. Uh, blah, 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 Karen. Yeah, I think IT Park is overrated as well. I mean, it's good. It's not bad. IT Park and Business Park are the places to live if you got money and you got to live in Cebu. But I think Cebu, Cebuana women are generally more friendly and Cebuana women, uh, I mean, you're just going to, a lot of guys strike out in Manila, get flaked on, whatever, and they go to Cebu and they'll have a girlfriend the first day. When I first landed in Cebu, I had tons of girls messaging me. Some can do a huge 500 donate once a month. Others do small $20 every day for every month. It adds up, just doesn't have a woe factor. No, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. John Canella pointed that out to me because he's been a huge supporter. Another guy I forgot to say, uh, John Canella. You know, the guys that like Todd and people like that, you know, that that adds up. Yeah, it definitely has a wow factor when a guy drops 100 or 500 and you see that big red super chat. But yeah, there's guys that just come in every single day and throw me a donation. That's huge. I mean, anybody that donates a fucking dollar, it's not required. It's huge. Or just being a member or booking a consult or whatever. Whoa or wow, Jasper. Boo-hoo. Boo-hoo in the building. Yes, sir. Jasper and Posse. Last video was great information. Level. Yeah, that's all I was trying to say, Todd. Um, I'm just trying to say level up or stay home. I'm not trying to be a jerk. I'm not putting myself above everyone. I have to continue to work on myself. I got to get back on my diet. I got to stay in the gym. What I'm saying is the competition is huge now. There's too many 30 year old chads that came over because the sniffles is over. So with supply, there's a lower demand for you. So you must be the best version of yourself. I talked to a guy in his early seventies. I did a consult with, if you're charming and you have game and you have money, you're, it doesn't, it's not really an age thing. Some people think I go too hard on the older guys. I'm an older guy and there's people that are just good socially and there's people that aren't. Jordan, I thought you were buried the hatchet and there you go again. Uh, yeah, I'm just saying, work on yourself. The second you decide I'm moving to the Philippines or I'm coming to the Philippines for a discovery trip, start eating grilled chicken and salmon, start fasting like Todd, start hitting the gym, start quitting cigarettes, alcohol, smoking weed, whatever the fuck you're doing and become the best version of yourself Unless you don't care and you just want to pay for play, then have pizza all day and don't even ever see the inside of a gym. That's available to you because these women need a better life. But if you're looking for like a girlfriend that's going to be like, oh my God, my boyfriend's hot. You've got to be the best version of yourself in any country at any time. But the Philippines is not an alternate universe. Todd's been here. He knows. Women like you, but they're not falling all over themselves at the airport like, you know, desperate. It's just, it is what it is. Mass Malo Pit Travel Vlogs. Hello, Karen Ballot. 41 people in the building. Jesters, you started with your left comment. You sound like a wit. Okay, let's not get into politics, folks. Come on. Yeah, I thought you guys buried the hatchet. J Jordan, Legend of Alexander, Todd. Oh, wait, no, Todd's not beefing with anybody. Jester and Legend are, are beefing with Jordan. But yeah, I think anywhere you need to do that, but people seem to think, oh, the Philippines is fine. I can gain a hundred pounds and go out there and I'm going to get a Miss Universe. No, you're not. The Miss Universe girls have their own money and they're only going to get with guys that look the part and have a good personality or have a couple bucks or whatever. You're going to, you're going to end up just getting into a glorified arrangement in that case. Why quit cigs and weed and alcohol? Just a little is fine. Yeah. Okay. You don't have to quit. Cut down, cut down. You don't have to quit any of that shit. What I just meant is try to get yourself looking good with whatever that is. I don't, I don't know, but definitely hit the gym and diet. Do you need to quit cigarettes? Not particularly. Do you need to quit drinking? No, just moderate. Uh, do you need to quit drugs? Yes. Drugs are fucking illegal here, but yeah, you know what I meant comparing Pete. I, I, I overstated that you can smoke, you can vape, you can drink, you, but don't do it fucking all day, every day. Okay. Uh, that's what I meant. Uh, just Jordan. I'm a guy 
that have been to the Phils more than you dream of going. Yeah, and Jester does the five star lifestyle. Jester stays at Anon Crystal Sands. Jester is, you know, uh, a five star guy. So, yeah, Jordan, how dare you? Do you want to go to jail? Yeah, don't smoke weed. But outside of that, you can do whatever the fuck you want. Cigarettes are legal. Alcohol is legal. You're fine. Karen. Karen, you should do a call in with us. We want to know more about you. Bro, Todd, salute. Every time Jordan says lift hard, Jordan, say it again. Just kidding. <laughs> Bro, Jordan told me the other day that he wants to meet you and steal a used pair of your girl's panties. Apparently he has a fetish. He's like, what the fuck? Yeah, I think that's a guaranteed way to never get to meet me. Um, my girl's panties? Bro, you are fucking tripping, Jordan. Nah, I just go to Thailand for that and anyway. Yeah, exactly. If you smoke weed, you know what you do? Go to Thailand for a week every month and get all the weed out of your system. Blow your brains out on weed. Uh, you know, uh, not literally. And, and then come back for three weeks and sober up. I don't know. Thailand, it's legal. It's a quick flight. Just do that. A lot of guys, you know, they like weed at one point in their life. They go to Thailand for three weeks and they get high and then they come back. Do not do not do it in the Philippines is all I'm saying. Until it becomes legal, which it may never. Philippines is more conservative than Thailand, although they do, they do follow suit on many things. You just go to Thailand for that. To lies. You believe that more in Jasper? I, I, I don't know anything. I think uh, maybe he's just stirring the pot. I have no clue what he's talking about. But Jordan, what's going on with your ticket? You said you had a ticket for April. Did you cancel your ticket? Did you get a refund? Because now it's May. Is May getting pushed back to June now? And uh, you said you're only coming out for a week. Salute to Todd for the 10. Salute to Apollo Crane for sponsoring the stream with 100. Just enjoying my live. Okay, Karen. So Karen, do you have a boyfriend? Are you married? Uh, Alexander, you just have said I blocked him. So he has to lie about me. I mean... Alexander was like your mentor, and now he's blocked. Now you guys are blocked. It's okay, Jordan. Admitting to it is the first step, bro. Yeah, Jordan, say libtard again. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the fuck's going on, but all I know is I got 42,000 subscribers, 42.1 to be exact, and I just dropped a video. Let's see how the video's performing, folks. Ba -ba -ba. Um, the video is I haven't dropped a video in 10 days. Okay, not bad, not bad. We're getting a lot of uh, comments on the video, that's good. I will message you the last day I'm here. Oh, forget it, I don't give a shit. You can't, if you, what are you, some huge A-list celebrity who cares? Beautiful day, not like, yeah, facts, serene self. I'm already winnered almost five years host. Wow, okay, sorry to hear that. Uh, RIP to your ex, your, your husband, I mean, if they, I like cigs and rum or wine, Jasper. Why do they think everyone loves weed nowadays? Yeah, you don't need to do weed. Don't do weed, guys. Yeah, when a girl doesn't need you, like Todd said in my comment to my video, they are going to only be with you if they like you. Like, they like your personality, they like your face, they like your body, whatever. People are not going to be, um... Yeah, exactly. Squash the beef, guys. Uh, yeah, people... If they don't need you out of necessity to provide a better life for them, they're only going to get with the best option or someone that they find charming or handsome or a good personality or whatever. So if you're a miserable fuck that's fat, and you, you know, I mean, come on, guys. you got to be realistic. I appreciate it. Jordan, I thought Jasper asked people to squash the beef for the community's sake. Yeah, true. I leave for a few months. Nice to see Jordan and Jasper still fighting. Yeah, right? It's been a while, Chippy. What's up, brother? Um, yeah, we're still fighting. We're still beefing. And Jordan's beefing with Jester and uh, Legend. Do they have any authentic barbecue spots or, or are you screwed? Um, I don't know if I'd call them authentic. It's like Mexican food. Like they have them, but it's not exactly like a California barbecue spot or whatever. It's like Mexican food. They have it, but it's not exactly uh, authentic, you know, San Diego uh, Mexican food. Todd, just wait. Joan, hey, Chip, you've been a while. Joan, look, even Chippy brings Joan out of retirement. Look at that. Karen Ballad, appreciate it, Jordan. Chippy, we not fighting. <laughs> Jordan's fighting with everyone else. Joan's back, yes. You know, it's a big stream when Joan comes in. 35 people sponsored by Apollo Crane and Todd. Joan, you back. Yes, ma'am. Joan in the building. It is Easter Sunday in the Philippines. Good morning, Maganda. Joan, how's your BF? Yeah, Joan, who's your BF? I messaged you privately. I didn't get a response. I need to know who your BF is. Do a public uh, declaration of love, please. I need to spice up the chat a bit. In fact, let me go to my Facebook. Maybe you announced it. Hang on. I won't say it out loud. What the fuck is going on with this? Chippy, she's single. Nah, I don't think so. Listening on the Zodiac Killer documentary. 
what the hell? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Ha ha, not from the Kuno, I met an English guy from the outways. He was one. But then why would you say that I was going to go crazy? I don't know who that guy is. If he ain't from my community, he ain't shit. Just kidding. Chippy, she single, nah. Joan. Joan, I'll check that out. Chippy. Uh, I thought it was Legend or uh, uh, John, John Coleone. Her daddy, Alexander. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, look at that. You guys got to get a room. Yes, Joan, what's his height, weight, and... Yeah, exactly. Tell us more about him. We need to know. Hello, Boss Todd. Yeah, what's his height? First and foremost, what's his height? Good girl. Oh, my God. Get a room, you two. How dare you? This is a family channel, folks. How dare you, Jester. Joan, which Zodiac? San Francisco or the real one? Yeah, right? We need to know more about this guy. Can he do a call-in and tell us about your steamy... Uh, uh, just kidding. Just kidding. Sweetie, look at all the all the ladies are here and Chippy comes back finally. We got Sweetie, we got Joan, we got Karen Ballad, a new member. Karen, you gotta hit allow gifts so you can become a member. Got a ton of exclusive videos. Joan, let's do a call in with your guy on three way. See what's cracking. Let's hear a little bit more about what goes on behind closed doors with you two. 13 likes, 32 watching. Todd, he is hot, that's all. Is, is is he a husky, Joan? What the hell is going on here? Joan, it's Joan's chat. I got me a dime piece, such a sweet girl. But you have a different girl every time you come in, Jordan, and you never meet any of them. You have a dime piece in Seattle or what? I don't know, Jordan. I'm starting to not believe you. Hello, Ate Eva, sweetie. Yes, Eva changed her name to sweetie. I was trying to figure out how the hell there's another girl from Connecticut in here. And then I realized Eva hasn't been in since all this started out. He is hot, that's all. Well, that doesn't tell us enough. You need to post a picture. If you want the best, you need to be the best option. Get your stuff together for yourself. Optimize diet supplements, regular heavy weights, and bikini, biking walking. Keep up the vids, Jasper. Thanks, Peter Erickson. Yeah, that's all I was saying. I wasn't saying I'm the best. I wasn't saying... You know, I'm a fucking 20 year old Chad. I was saying, whatever your age is, I don't care if you're in your 70s, try to get lean, try to eat good, try to go to a gym, try to quit your bad habit vices and have the best chance of landing genuine burning desire because this is not fucking some alternate universe where you just land here with a big sloppy belly and you're gonna pull in this universe. That's all I was trying to say. Well, George blogging, so I can't, oh, okay, got you. I didn't say dime piece, I just said dime. Well, a dime is a dime piece, right? Peter, facts. Joan, I am a Pisces. I got a five piece in Kazan, a five P piece. Basically, don't be like Jordan. Exactly. So if you're like Jordan, it's not going to work out for you. Right, Chippy? You're not missing anything, Legend. It's a blessing. Jesus Christ, Jester and fucking, uh, and Legend are beefing with Jordan. It's crazy. I honestly, you know, I feel like it's a nice little... Yeah, don't be a slob. It's basically the, the moral of that story. If you're 100 pounds overweight, don't expect to pull a Miss Universe that thinks you're sexy. If you want to trade your money for her time, sure. But the reality is, the second you decide that you're going to do a discovery trip or move here permanently, I would learn about grilled chicken and salmon and what the inside of a gym looks like. Just my advice. You can come out here and eat a big, large pizza every day and just use your credit card to acquire some love, but uh, me personally, I would say get, get to be the best version of yourself. Also, the healthcare out here ain't all that, so you don't want to fuck around and have a heart attack, right? Last chance for salon under 200, I don't know. They said it was going to 1,000 last time. We hit 260 and came back down. There's no telling what'll happen with Solana. Bitcoin will continue to go up because of the ETFs. Some alts will follow from last uh, cycle, some will not. Solana looks very strong. I wish I had bought more. I used to have 64 Solanas in last bull run. I barely have any Solana. I made a big mistake with that. I have some AVAX, I have Solana. At this point, I'm just not sure. I'm not sure that I'm willing to gamble on it at $200. It's a gamble. Crypto is gambling, essentially. Stop equating happiness with eating garbage food. Exactly. When you eat really healthy, actually, when you eat garbage food, you feel like crap afterward, to be honest with you. Keep it up, Jesters, and you will go to the block hole forever with your GF on tape. What the fuck? I don't give a fuck if every relationship is 50% attraction where you are every... Yeah, exactly. So, no, fuck no. 45, are you a 45 waist, Chippy? Oh, hell no. Black hole. 
Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. So, in a relationship, yes, you need to have money if you're a man and you're talking all this boss talk and stuff. But if a girl's not attracted to you, she's going to start to treat you bad. If you're always with your girl, to be honest with you, um, a lot of times they start to take you for granted or you see a bit of a bitchy attitude. Um, and if a woman is not attracted to you genuinely, then she's probably going to start to be disgusted by you or treat you like less than a king. And um, that's all the more reason to self-improve before you arrive here. Um, it just is what it is. If she can't find anything redeeming about you, your eyes, your physique, your height, your skin color, whatever, then, you know, it's probably not going to last. Hey, PHA crap prepper, what's up, bro? Uh, prepper in the building. Uh, can I buy 45, 30 jeans? I, mean, I don't think there's a lot of Filipinos that have a 45 inch waistline. So that's what you're talking about. There's some chubby Filipinos with like big bellies and stuff, but 45 is pretty huge, I think. Uh, Karen Ballad, hello, Chippy. You are not, you are so fit. I was going to say, I think Chippy's fit. Start going to her mom's house all the time. Yeah, exactly. How about just stay single and mingle all life long? Oh, I think that's kind of empty after a while. I did that for 12 months, and it was fun at first. But, I mean, I'm 47, so if you're 19 or 20, sure. But endless hookups get kind of empty in any place. It got old in Vegas for me. It got old in Los Angeles, and it got old in the Philippines. But, I mean, yeah, you can do that. But just be careful, and you, you'll have some nights where you'll be a little bit uh, lonely, perhaps. That hottie 10, after 18 years, we well, the looks do not last. You have a better, solid relationship. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you get with somebody that's a good person that's actually attracted to you. She's not going to be as hot as she was 20 years ago necessarily, but you have a good life partner. I think like Alexander said, relationship 50%, 50, give them the uglier guy. Lifestyle has to go up. Maybe Yeah, sure, exactly. I mean, if you're ugly as fuck, but you can cre create a good life for a woman, that's good. Crypto Chris, one, two, three. If you're in a relationship, must have communication, trust, respect, I don't care poor or rich as long as you treat me right. Yeah, but I think you do care about poor or rich. Because if a guy's poor and he's with you, you're going to have to carry him through life. And that's not a very masculine trait for a man to need to be carried. Neanderthal, salute, brother. Good video, Jasper. Guys, get in shape and level up now. Don't wait until you're ready to travel. Salute for the 50 bucks from Neanderthal. Wow. Damn. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. I know I, I watched it back in the premiere and I was like, oh, you're coming off arrogant and this and that. But people expect that shit from me. Dude, I'm not in the best shape. I don't have an eight pack. I'm just saying, do the best you can if you want to get an elite top tier woman. If you don't give a shit, come out here, flip your credit card and enjoy life. But yeah, that's all I was trying to say for guys like in their 40s and 50s, like me and Neanderthal, Todd, all the guys in the chat. That's all I'm saying. Lose 30 pounds like Jester. You, you know, you, you want to just come out here a big fat slob? Okay, but don't expect genuine burning desire from these Filipinas. It's 2024. There's a shitload of 30-year-old chads out here now. That's all I was saying. Salute to Neanderthal. BTC having is definitely going to happen again this April. Do your research like I did. BTC soul quant digital replacement with Swift system. Um, yeah, I agree with all that. I'm not sure what's going to happen with quant and, and HBAR and all that. And XRP is, is, you know, feeling like a fucking stable coin. But I have high hopes for it. Sure. Neanderthal. I think Joan is dating Vic Soto. Who's Vic Soto? Outstanding Neanderthal. Salute. Another two big red super chats at the top of the screen. Salute to Apollo, Neanderthal, and Todd for sponsoring the stream. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. I know sometimes I come off uh, like that in my videos, a little uh, arrogant, but people expect that shit from me. I don't mean anything by it. I'm not better than anyone. I don't have a fucking eight pack, but don't come out here a big fat slob. I saw a video of a guy hitting on a Filipina the other day that was a big fat slob, and I just thought, Jesus Christ, bro. Diet a bit before you start approaching these fucking shy Filipinas. Chippy Wee's Vic Soto of London. Uh, it's like my wife does not understand why I will never ride behind her on a motor. Yet if, if I will, if her brother is driving, it's a dude thing. Correct. Exactly. Like when you're dating a girl, expat prepper, guess who drives her car or your car whenever you guys go anywhere? A real man. Like I just automatically get in the driver's seat of my girl's car. That's just how life works, right? That's a real man. I'm not getting on the back of your motorcycle and holding on to my girl's waist while she navigates our life. It's just the way it is, right? <laughs> At a minimum, have a good attitude and a positive. Yeah, exactly. Be a pleasure to be around if you're going to be sloppy and fat and have money. I mean, shit. What can I say? Uh, Karen Ballad, 36 people in the building. Todd, I agree, boss. Karen P, arrogant. No, just confident. That's what I say. Yeah, I know what you're saying. I don't have an eight-pack either, but people can still get in. That's what I'm saying, Neanderthal. Yeah, we still want to enjoy a little bit of carbs here and there. 
And yeah, I mean, I, I think I'm just confident, but a lot of people, oh, you're so arrogant, this and that. Bro, you haven't lived my life. I'm not saying I get every single fucking 10 in the world, but I've had a pretty decent life. Women have been generally kind to me in America and here. And I'm just speaking from that perspective. I think the guys that can relate to me, relate to me. The people that can't hate my guts because they're living in that human ATM machine, alternate reality of like a boring, dull personality. One thing a girl can never say about me is that I'm boring. Usually a girl will say, never a dull moment with you. I'm always got something to say. I never shut the fuck up. I try to make things fun. I got a couple dollars. So girls will enjoy their time with me. Um, some guys are just boring ass human ATM machines, you know? I have a one pack. I paid a lot of money for it. Yeah, right? A fucking sick pack of beer, right? A chippy. <laughs> Oh man, salute to Neanderthal, salute to Apollo Crane, salute to Todd. Hey Jazz, was everyone representing the fatties? Hey, it's all good. Just fucking, you're heading back out soon. So maybe just start dieting a bit and uh, also start uh, hitting the gym a bit. Craig? Me, as soon as I caught you, no need to explain, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I get it. But I think money matters to you, sweetie. Do you want to carry a man through life financially? Do you want a man to move in with you? And do you want to buy him food every day, sweetie? You've said so many times over the last couple months, you don't care if a guy's broke, this and that. Are you willing to move a guy into your Connecticut house right now, pay for his food every day, pay for his transportation, pay for his child support to his other family, and, and take him on trips and stuff? I bet you're not. So money does matter, sweetie. That's my opinion. Would you rather live in BGC or Barakai forever? Barakai. Okay, so what's your one trick to impressing the women? Um, I think just naturally be confident and make things natural. I don't know if there's a way to just impress women. I think if you approach a woman, try to make it natural and not so forced in a corny pickup line. And then it's like a thing that you can't teach. I'm naturally comfortable about women because I've cold approached hundreds of women. I've had so many girlfriends. I've dated women from all over the world. And I think it's just something that you acquire over time from cold approaching women, from blind dates, from meeting girls on dating sites in the West and here to where you just have a level of comfortability. And if you can make a woman laugh, she's yours if she doesn't look at you like a goofy friend zone loser fatty. So making a woman laugh is key. Maintaining your frame and being masculine and just being natural, being able to be natural. Not just, hey, sweetie, you look like you fell from heaven or something, just don't be a fucking cornball. Hey, Javelin, Alacantra, hello. Good to see you. Um, okay, uh, hey, Craig, cut the card, brother. Yeah, the reason why people fuck with you is because you're real. You're not like the rest of these dudes that just basically panhandling on YouTube. You actually care and want people to do better. Yeah, I mean, I don't. I talk to people all the time from my community. I'll just call them randomly and check on them or fucking see what's up. I just called Kuya Storm the other day. I talked to Alexander all the time. I, t I checked in on Jester when he was going through a hard time. I'm not, dude, I don't ask for donations or none of that shit. And I genuinely care about people whether they donate or not. I'm just trying to, I'm just like a friend. Like, I don't have a bunch of dude friends out here. So this is like my hangout group. Corny pickup line, like, hey, babe, what's your sign? Exactly, exactly, Serene, you got it. Legend, correct. Hey, Todd, Alex, Joan, Neanderthal, Serene, so honestly, if you can't have random conversation with your friends and laugh, then you probably can't talk to a chick. Correct. So if you just have that natural social skills, I can't really teach it or explain it, but I'm a very social person who never shuts the fuck up, but people actually listen to what I say because I'm an older guy that's had a little bit of success and stuff, so sometimes what I say is actually making sense. It's not like just a bunch of gibberish. So I don't really know how to explain social skills to people. What's your favorite ethnicity of girls other than peanuts? Probably Japanese or Middle Eastern women. Um, everyone is saying a yes man is bad, but people are also saying treat a Filipina like princess, like happy wife, happy life, and never say no to her. It's very confusing. Yes man is good or not. A yes man is bad. Happy husband, happy life would be my saying. And... Um, I would not treat a girl like a princess unless she treats you like a king and earns it. That's my answer to that. Do a flip. I don't know what the fuck that means. Hi, sweetie. I am broke. I live near you. Okay, Chippy and sweetie. Hi, Craig. Jazz and I are super friends when it comes to gossip. Yeah, me and Joan like to gossip a lot. Jazz and uh, Chippy, me too. I'm broke. Chippy, say hung. Hey, sweetie, you never answered my question. Are you willing to carry a man through life since you don't care about money? Is it okay if he moves in with you? Do you think I'm, I'm coming back to the United States? Can I come over and stay with you and my YouTube channel... Uh, it's not going anywhere, so I was just wondering if you can buy me food every day. Is that okay with you, sweetie? <laughs> <laughs> LOL, Todd, sweetie. Holy shit. But yeah, I mean, it's hard to explain social skills. You either have them or you don't with men or women. Women is a different set of skills. 
women, you want to make things fun, etc. And you have and you have to have some type of life story. If all you did was work and go home, your interesting flame will burn out fast. Women love guys who are mysterious and can be a rock of knowledge. Exactly. Many women like a man at first because he's tall or has blue eyes or whatever. But if you can't keep it going for a year or six months or years and be able to teach them things. Women want a man that's smarter than them, that has more life experience than them, that's earned more money than them. Hey, Joan, who's the BF? Salute Chippy for the super chat. Yeah, women like that. They don't want to, a guy that just worked and ate TV dinners all his life and made less money than them and stuff. There's nothing to learn from them. Even if you're handsome, women want to learn about crypto. They want to learn about stocks. They want to learn what business to start. They want to know about the millions of dollars you made in your life. They want to know how to do this. They want you to teach them how to go kite surfing or whatever the fuck you can do because they're not looking to date somebody that's beneath them. That I, I worked, I went home, I had a TV dinner and I watched TV and went to sleep. I have no life story at all. I'm a fucking nothing. A female taking care of a man and a man is a bum. If so, I'm a bum and ready for a girl to take care of me. Okay, Peter, how old are you, bro? I think, sweetie, adopt us all. Yeah, sweetie, I'm moving in with you. Yeah, yeah, staying together for life, it's not easy, but you need to adjust and grow. But if you make it and find it, it's gold. I agree, expat prepper. Even when you get to like six months with a girl, if you spend 24 seven with her, it's like, it's hard, man. We, we have fights, me and my girl. We don't, she doesn't just yes me to death. She has her own money. It's hard to stay with someone all the time. You see little things about them that annoy you and stuff, but is it worth it to stay together? You know what I mean? It does the good outweigh the bad. Do you miss them? Do you enjoy your life together? It, it, it's tough, you know? Even at like six months, at a year, at two years. Got, I mean, imagine 18 years like expat prepper. You gotta choose to stay together. You're gonna go through good times and bad times. People are gonna have depression, have family problems, have this and that, but do you wanna stay together? It's 2024 and you know, you got the ex reaching out on Facebook, you got a million different apps, you got a, always gonna be a richer guy or a younger girl, but do you have that genuine connection with somebody or are you just a, a lifetime playboy and you're just gonna jump from girl to girl? Salute to Chippy, uh, Cabrera and LMF, FAO, Fax, Pepper, Fax, Agree, Jasper, how does a man keep his wife? I mean, Jeff Bezos and Big, Bill Gates had their wives leave them, so what chance do we got? Well, I mean, those girls have huge settlements coming to them when they divorce them, and they probably had long runs with them. I mean, Jeff Bezos is probably not the same dude that he was when he started Amazon in his fucking garage. And now he's got Lauren Sanchez, so he, he did good. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're more of a simple situation than a Jeff Bezos and a Bill Gates. And yeah, you could fall out of love with someone. I'm not saying you have to stay with every woman that you met when you were 20 or 30 till the day you die, but it's a decision to try to stay together. There's plenty of opportunities to cheat with high level people, good looking people. Um, do you have something good with that person? Are you guys building an empire together? Do you guys enjoy your times together, your travels together? Or does it go bad and you realize that person is not who they, you know, that best foot that they put forward for the first year of the relationship or the first 90 days of the relationship? Everybody going into a relationship has kind of a mask on of showing you only the best of them. Girls are in full makeup. You know, the sex is wild and everything. And then you settle into being like life partners. And, you know, it's like, do you really want to be with this person or should you keep it pushing? <laughs> Realistically. <laughs> Chippy Weiss Dunn whispered, I've got lots of buddies who are damn near models and they always rely on me to pick up the chicks. It's crazy how rejection is so terrifying to these guys. Women love confidence. It's a drug. Yeah, so women like a confident guy. If you have a little bit to back it up, women like confidence. You know what I mean? You can't be a fucking 400 pound confident guy. But if you have a little bit of looks and you have that confidence and it's actually genuine, it's not low self-esteem confidence as in complete fakeness, women like a confident guy that's not afraid to cold approach, even a group of girls that knows how to make natural conversation and make them laugh. That, you know, that it's just, it's just a thing. You can't have fake confidence and you can't be ridiculously confident as like, you know, a 300 pound 90 year old. But at the same time, women, you could be a super good looking guy. But if you can barely make eye contact and you can't squeeze out a sentence, you're fucked also, realistically. Peter Huang, both those men cheated. Yeah, right? It's easier to throw it out instead of repairing it. Correct. 90 Day Fiance. Yeah, I mean, it's easy to fucking throw somebody away and keep it pushing. But do you really want to be the 60-year-old dude walking around Baraka in a Speedo trying to pick up girls? I don't think so. <laughs> so it just depends, guys. But the best thing to do is be the best version of yourself. Find somebody that fits with you outside of looks and all that. Yes, you need somebody to be attractive enough from a guy's and girl's. But 
how do your personalities go? Can you have those five hour conversations at 3 a.m.? Do you guys help each other out? Are you guys doing a business together? Are you guys, you know, is she helping you with your YouTube channel or whatever the hell you're doing? You know what I mean? It just, it just depends. For me now, take care of my dog. Yeah, but what about me? I'm quitting YouTube and I'm moving to Connecticut. Is it possible to crash at your place? And I need you to pay for my meals. It's okay, right? You, you just like, guys, you just want, want love. You don't mind a guy that's broke, right, sweetie? <laughs> if you can dominate a woman mentally and physically and emotionally, she will literally never even think about anyone else. Remind them that they are replaced. We'll flirt with the waitress. Let them see that charm. I agree with you 100%. Uh, a lot of times respect, it comes in the bedroom at first and uh, women want to feel safe with you and you know, uh, them knowing that you are a prize to other women will keep them on their best behavior. If you are never getting looked at, never getting flirted with by the waitress and you're lacking in the bedroom and they do not feel safe with you when approached by a stranger in a dark alley, they will 100% leave you every single time. When you are a provider and a protector and you're handling your business in the bedroom um, and other women are showing interest in you in front of them, the chances of them dumping you is like 1%. Probably. <laughs> if you stop showering a few weeks, they get upset facts. Why does the world always talk about happy life, happy wife, instead of a woman can keep a man, especially when they hit the wall? Because that's because like Lizzo's on the cover of Vogue. Because men are shamed for being fat and women are applauded because the, the world is centered towards women being empowered now. And that's why in the West, it's never been a better time to be a woman and it's never been a worse time to be even a six figure guy. Because women can do no wrong, men are fat, low earning slobs, the Al Bundy character. That's just the way the world was crafted in the West. Men are still kings in the Philippines, in Southeast Asia, but in the West, you're a big dumb Al Bundy, you're a big dumb Kevin James, and that's just the way it works. You're just a human fucking fat wallet, and, and that's just the way it is. But Lizzo's on the cover of Vogue, even though she's about to have a heart attack, right? If you stop showering, uh, um, I just walk away fast. Okay, I guess I can't move in with Sweetie. Damn. Just to stop by to say hi, I got to spend time with my daughters, take care of others. Okay, salute, Prez. Yeah, so, I mean, it just depends. But, yeah, women are just, you know, they can do no wrong. They get chubby. Oh, he can't handle your curves, girl. If they, you know are completely lose all their femininity. Oh, you go, girl. You take back the crown, this and that. With men, if you make $30,000 a year, you're shamed. If you're fucking 350 pounds, you're shamed. It's just an ass-backwards world where women can sell feet pictures and men got to go do roofing all day for fucking, you know, $18 an hour. And, and you know, the man's considered a loser. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> Enjoy Corey. Yes, Corey. Thanks for coming in and saying hi. We got a lot of OGs in here. We got Chippy Weesk. We got Eva. We got Neanderthal. We got Legend of Alexander. Sweetie, pick me up. Let's get tax-free booze in New Hampshire. Yeah, my, making six figures meant I worked 60 hours a week, had no time to play with toys I had. The wife was being neglected. Living simple and nice turns out is the key. Exactly. You can make six figures, but you'll be working nonstop to do it. You won't get to enjoy that fucking Corvette or that boat or that motorcycle or whatever the fuck you bought with your six figures. Then your wife gets bored. She might not. She might be a homemaker or something. She's sitting there on Instagram or getting messages from her ex or just getting feeling neglected. You know, you're in the military, you're deployed. She's sitting there for six months. Some women are cheaters. Some women just get bored and feel neglected. Uh, you feel a bit of a disconnect, right? You know, it, it's just the way it is. Uh, chippy, haha. Poor Filipina feels super graceful when they even get 1,000 pesos from you like it never happened before. Western women would take 100 from you and should be giving them, yeah, try a fucking 300 just to fucking get their nails done and get some lunch with their girlfriends in Beverly Hills. And, uh, you know, a girl gets $18 from you and she's like doing backflips or you get her some fucking jolly beer and egg pie from the bakery and they think that you're the second coming. So Filipinas are much more appreciative. There's an old saying, Thai girl needs like diamonds and gold and stuff and a Filipina needs some rice and a roof over her head. Filipinas will appreciate the little things. Even a Filipina that makes good money will appreciate if you pick her up Jollibee and surprise her with it or you get her a fucking egg pie or a custard from the bakery for 40 pesos or 30 pesos or a fucking, you know, a, a little 14 peso cookie. They will appreciate her. You get them a cup of coffee from fucking Lawson's for 32 pesos. Uh, that's just, I don't know, it's just the way it is. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> but uh, it's definitely a thing. So, yeah, Kevin James' jokes, bro, he's a good comedian. Yeah, but, that, I mean, he's the fat guy with the Leah Remini as his wife or Al Bundy and Peg Bundy. You know, you know what I mean, where guys are just doofuses. And 
Never have been to Thailand, but do Thai girls wave and high full of smiles, foreigner everywhere like the Filipina does? Um, maybe if they're looking, they, they see your wallet bulging out of your pocket, but Filipinas are generally friendlier than Thai girls. And I dated a Thai girl for three years. Thai girls are pretty magical and all that, but they don't really speak much English. And I mean, I had a good relationship, but I was in Las Vegas and I was like ripped beyond belief and had a brand new Mercedes S550. And I mean, I was at the top of my game. So yeah, uh, but generally you're going to be looked at as a transaction perhaps. <laughs> Man, take a breath, auctioneer, Mo. Sweetie Pick Mansion, okay. I guess I'm not moving in with Sweetie, guys. She rejected me, fuck. 18 likes, 36 people watching. Got 2.5 on yesterday's live. Let's see how the vid's doing. Salute to Neanderthal, Apollo Crane, Todd. Appreciate you guys. Ba, ba, ba. Okay, we're getting some subs. Getting a bunch of comments on the vid. Ba, ba, ba. Turning into American women. All right, nobody's chatting anymore. Let me respond to some. I'm a 6 2 lame. My next flight. Next month, I hope I don't need game to get the chicks I know as a favorite play. Uh, okay, oh, there we go. Then we hit Freeport. Duty free, sweetie. I will get you back. Okay, okay. Jiffy Weiss is planning a date with sweetie. Tons of comments. Not so many views, but that's okay. We just do the videos for the hell of it, right? Back. Okay. Let me catch up on some comments since nobody's. Money talks in Thailand. Can't be stingy there. I just came back from Thailand. I think I could enjoy penis and Filipinas more. Yeah, so if you're willing to pay for play, Thailand's great. Uh, if you don't want to pay for play, you know, the guys that we see that are winning in Thailand are wealthy men. You know, like Zoom to Thailand is essentially rich. And if you can change a girl's life, you know, she'll pick you over a local. But. Filipinos are genuinely attracted to foreigners and sometimes choose them over their countrymen. Thai women, there's been so many sugar daddies over there splashing and so many transactional things happening that uh, are generally going to look at you as an opportunity more than a Filipina. Filipinas are generally just more friendly. Now, Thai girls are good. My, my girl was great. Her sister was amazing. Her mom was nice. They, they're nice people, but... A little bit more of a disconnect with the language and just the whole thing. I don't know how to explain this. How often do you check, do you trip to Baraka? Quite often, quite often. Uh, once a month. Should a, should a foreigner be more close to Filipinas mom or dad more? I understand both are important, but who should we really focus on? Well, it depends. I mean, if families together. I mean, as a foreigner, you're probably going to bond with the dad a bit, hopefully. But you know, I mean, if the parents are both still together and still in the household. I mean, I would say both. I would say both, but a lot of people like they're just like their dad passed away, or their their parents are split up, or there's different things. But as a man, you're going to generally bond with a man, or have a beer, or you know maybe whatever, whatever. But I think uh, you want to try to do both. But I mean, that's really a tough question to be honest with you. Peter Huang, dad for sure. Yeah, I would I would assume a dad. I mean, X Five Forever knows better than me. As a man, I'm going to gravitate towards a man and try to bro out with him somehow if that's even possible or have a beer or try to have some type of friendship there because you're essentially you know marrying his daughter or whatever um but you definitely want to be cool with the mom of course especially again if they're you know a complete family as they say in the philippines uh chippy hmm, don't know that does filipina's dad make a final decision over her mom i would assume so definitely in my opinion uh but uh expat prepper probably knows better peter hang in my household yes it's the dad yeah I would assume the dad. I'm a guy, so I'm going to try to bro out with the dad. But I definitely want the mom to, you know, be happy with me or happy when I show up for dinner or, you know, show up on the holidays or whatever. So both, but the dad in any country, in any situation, because you're both men. And if the dad doesn't like you in America, we know what it'll do to you, right? <laughs> Hero Hunter, hello. 
Uh, typically, it's the dad, right? That's what I say too. But I mean, it's a tough question. But yeah, they're both in the household. The dad. You're a dude. You want to bond with the dad. Uh, we know what happens when the dad doesn't like you. And in the Philippines, the dad can shut down the entire fucking relationship, even if the girl's in her 30s, to be completely honest with you. Uh, I always make friends with the dog. Yeah, well, you, a dog is your profile picture, Chippy, so of course you do. Ba -ba -ba. Man, what a live. You see the Baltimore Bridge about to collapse? Uh, I thought a ship hit it the other day. I don't know if it's going to collapse, but yeah, it looks pretty crazy, right? Come on, let's get the likes up, guys. 35 people watching. Everybody hit the like right now. Let's see it go to 35, guys. Come on, sound that one. Um, yeah, I saw that. Uh, I believe the dad is the uh, final boss, but correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, we went up one like. That was it. Euro Hunter in the building. All right, I'm finally able to take a breath. This has been a hell of a lot. Yeah, I don't keep in touch with United States things that are going on. So just like I didn't hear about a school shooting, I'm not really following what the Baltimore Bridge is. I'm a, basically living in the Philippines, so I'm completely tuned out to all that shit. But I did see that clip. I got you. Okay, Cooper and P. 21 likes. Okay, people did hit the like. Thank you, guys. Guys, let's get to 30 likes, guys. Come on. Chop, chop. Shit. But yeah, so what I meant in the video is just try to be the best version of yourself if you want genuine burning desire. If you don't care about genuine burning desire, don't even worry about it. It's all good. How important is it for a foreigner to also try and be close to a Filipino sibling, especially when they ask for money? Do I really have to try and be close to their sister and brother? No, I don't think you do. I think you need to worry about the parents, period. And I don't think you should be a human ATM machine for a person's brother and sister. Give out of the kindness of your heart if you would like to. This goes for America too. No, I'm not, I'm not a human ATM machine for your brother and sister. I think you should have a close relationship with the parents if you can. And I would not be concerned with funding the brother and sister, personally. I think they are leaving the boat in place to help remove the bridge bend. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, I didn't even follow it. Uh, I wake up at 3 in the morning. Nice. Don't give money, please. Yeah, Crypto Chris is a, is a Filipino crypto trader. I wouldn't give money to the brother and sister. That'll be a never-ending thing. And how the fuck are they your responsibility? You want to help the mom and dad out a bit? They raised the girl. You may have taken her out of the workforce or whatever, whatever. You knock yourself out. The brother and sister are not my responsibility. Give a few bucks to the parents if you decide to, and they can, you know, trickle it over to the brother and sister if they if they absolutely need it. Exactly, Todd. A cargo ship headed to Sri Lanka hit the Baltimore Bridge while it was trying to pass it. Oh, got you, got you. Yeah, I mean, I saw the clip, but I don't like keep up on it. I don't really follow like politics or like the latest, you know, ship crash. I'm just not really that tuned in to like what exactly is going to happen. I just heard Biden said we're going to pay for it. Hero Hunter uh, with an emoji. Ship. USA update. Francis Scott Key hit by barge and is blocking Baltimore Harbor and Cali minimum wage is twenty dollars an hour. Yeah, got you. All good. Well, thanks for the update. See, I get the, I get my updates in the live. But yeah, I mean, I kind of tuned all that shit out. I tuned out all the Trump and Biden talk, all the sniffles, all the latest school shooting, the latest crash. I'm just living in the Philippines trying to avoid that shit. But you know, my dad'll let me in on it or I'll see it on YouTube or whatever. Sweetie, it's near Portland, Maine. Okay, Sweetie and Chippy getting together. I don't know what happened with Ante and uh, and Eva. I thought they were getting together, but I guess not. I just followed this shit because I'm back in Canada in Thailand for a month and a half. I said, fuck it. Got you. We got to come to the Phils. Thailand's cool, but the Philippines is another, another one you want to hit up, you know? Nothing wrong with Thailand, but I think Thailand and Philippines are better than Canada for an average guy, unless you're like Drake or Justin Bieber or something. Then yeah, whooping cough going around. No way, damn. Hope I don't catch it. Here in PH, really? Wow, I didn't even know that. Thanks for the heads up. Ah, uh, okay, Chippy. Ah, uh, okay. Forty-two thousand subscribers. 
moving a little slower the higher you get. If you notice guys like Geo and Sunshine Shoulders have been doing this for many, many years and they stalled out around 50K. Blessed to have 42K in a year though. Next on the list, I think, I'm not sure what we're talking about. The, the whooping cough? Oh, no, Philippines. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, yeah, I don't see why not, right? You've already been to Thailand. You haven't been to the Phil's, I don't think. Uh, probably get bored with Canada relatively quickly. Unless you go to South America, the next natural choice would be Philippines, right? But yeah, that's crazy to hear about people in my community asking other people for money. That's definitely a no-no. It would be hard coming. Yeah, right, Todd? It absolutely is. That's why I haven't dropped a video in 10 days. If I got nothing to say, it's better to not say anything at all. You know, once you have a following, you want to make sure you get those 4,000 people to watch your video every time. If you just put out the same fucking video, you know, it gets old, right? How for me, that 3,000 subs market slow creep, but getting there, hey, yeah, but this is a part-time for you. You got a bunch of businesses and money and stuff. You're not doing this as a full-time career, really. <laughs> Love Cambodia. You should go check it out. Okay, Cabaran. Ha ha, for me. Yeah, I was going to say expat, but you're not like a full-time YouTuber. You could have got further than that. PX expat. Pertussis, some provinces were already place in the state of calamity. Damn. Joan, yes, protest the same whooping cough. I agree. Quality. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, when I didn't have monetization, I put out seven videos a day because I had no fucking audience and I was trying to get monetized, get watch hours. Once I got an audience, it was once a day. But then as of late, it's like, I've made a lot of videos. You know what I mean? Like if I have a new experience or I want to bring something to the attention, that's cool. But yeah, if you're getting three, 4,000 views a video, you want to make sure you don't get 300 views on your next video, right? Get the truth on Truth Social. Huh? I agree, quality over quantity. I, Steven, get the truth on Truth Social. I don't know what the hell that means, but okay. Yes, Bertussis, guys, whooping cough. Hero Hunter, I haven't traveled in, to America. I'm just in the Philippines. Okay, Hero. Uh, a grand suite experience for New Year's Eve in Grand Hyatt. Chamber Law is 1000 a day. Grand Hyatt required two days a day. Oh boy, so expensive. Want to give that experience. Peter, how old are you? Are you giving that to your future wife? Grand executive. Holy shit. Yeah, well, that's like almost America price, but uh, it's probably in VGC. That's where the Shangri-La and Grand Hyatt are. I mean, the some of the branches of uh, <laughs> Grand Executive. Okay, big spender. Nice. 38 people in the building. Smash the like. Guys, sits. Getting a lot of views on these lives now. Getting a lot of subscribers through the lives. What the fuck are you doing that for, Peter? Yeah, right? You could pay your rent in fucking BGC for two months for one night there. I would just get an apartment, get like a grand fucking apartment there. I'm planning to propose to her the, this year or next on the fifth year anniversary and trying to find out a place to propose to her. Yeah, but I already told you, you got to go to Shangri-La and Boracay or at least Moven Pick or Crimson. That's more romantic and that's better if she likes the beach. These fucking skyscraper, you know, Shangri-Las and VGC, they ain't shit. There's a reason why they're half the price of Boracay. Boracay and Cebu, it's like a compound of paradise. In the Grand Hyatt, you might as well just get a penthouse apartment somewhere on Airbnb for 100 bucks a night, brother. Baltimore Bridge is still standing up. Trump showed the truth of it on Truth Social. Okay. F the woke. Truth Social just went IPO on Wednesday last week. It's about 60 now and volatile. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'll stay away from that one, but thanks for the tip. Yeah. Ba, ba, ba. Jordan, what are you clocking in at weight-wise these days? I know you're lurking. We need to know. 39 people in the building. So I chose BGC and Boracay because I wanted to show you guys something different. There's not a lot of vloggers that live in Boracay. And when I went to BGC in 2022, there was just merging. So, you know. Sogo, so fresh, so clean. Hell no. Sogo does it by the hour. And they are not fresh and clean. I suggest propose on a normal day. It shows every day is special. If she says yes, then go on a holiday. Hey, not a bad idea. Then splurge. What if she says no? And then, you know, I, I suggest instead of fucking spending 15000 US dollars on a wedding, put $15,000 down on a condo or a house. Right? 
you did it right way. Push out quality content until the fire catches. Congratulations. Thank you, Todd. I appreciate it, man. Shubby, been a minute, boss. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I just figured I don't want to, once you have an audience, you don't want to overload them with seven videos a day. And if you've got nothing to say and you've already said what you needed to say and nothing happens in your life or there's no, you know, I just, when something pops in my head last night, that popped into my head, I made that video right there. I just, you know, if, I, if something pops into my head, what am I going to do? Hey, six ways to get health insurance in the Philippines. Nobody wants to see that video. People come to me for real life. Okay, this is what's happening in 2024. This is my experience with my Filipina and all the ones before her. This is why this or that. People aren't tuning in to me to hear about the five best health insurance plans in 2024. Nobody gives a shit about that with my channel. <laughs> Shubby, it's been a while, boss. Fraser's was woke, Trump and MG... MTG explain it well on Truth Social. I, I, this is not a Truth Social promotion, Stephen. You didn't come in and say hello or anything. You're just like a Truth Social fucking promoter. Imagination and creativity. Yeah, Todd. I mean, I'm just trying to keep it going here. Even if the subscribers slow down because we're approaching 50k, uh, you know, we can get a thousand, two thousand a month, whatever. I do owe 10 years in the P. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah, but those will get views, bro. Those will get views. As much as that's not your style, that'll get you over 3,000 subscribers. I've done one fucking video and got thousands of subscribers off of one video, expat prepper. It depends. Sometimes those videos catch the algorithm. If they do 100,000 or they do, you know, even 30,000, you might get a bunch of subs. Peter Purr, yes, sir. Yeah, I mean, your channel will either resonate or it won't. There's a lot of these guys that their channel didn't catch on and now they low-key take shots at me because they're stuck at 2,000 subscribers doing this full-time for a year. People resonated with my personality, apparently. They resonated with the locations I was showing them. They resonated with the stories. A lot of people, they just, you're not that likable, or you're just, the algorithm didn't like you, or whatever. I don't know. Drinking coffee. Hey, what's popping? Well, what are you doing? People come here to mingle after a stressful, busy day at work. It's better to not talk about religion and politics. It's just corny and fake. Yeah, I agree. I, I, I just don't think it's, it's necessary. I dropped the CF sponsorship. It was just corny and fake. Yeah, I never took it. They offered me money, then they doubled it, then they went up from the double, and I said, you know what? I get so many fucking donations and support from my people, I can't pause in the middle of a video and pitch a website I've never used that charges a fortune. I said no. I wasn't willing to do it. Everybody else took it. I was the only one. Me and Overstay Road, I think, didn't accept it. Every other person, I see the link in their video from time to time. They pursued me and courted me for many months, kept upping their offer, upping their offer, upping their offer, trying to get me to meet a couple and interview them, this and that. I said, dude, I'm not gonna pre submit a video for you to pre-approve it. I don't have a boss, and nobody has ever received the support that this channel has received in the Philippines, even being a smaller channel. I'm not gonna sell you guys out for fucking, what, 500 bucks or something? I don't give a fuck about that. Uh, Santos, just been announced VP, let's get behind it guys bro i'm literally gonna ban you steven what the fuck are you talking about peter Hong goes saw some multi maldive type private bungalow in the ocean somewhere in the philippines that kind of money yeah exactly that's what i say cabaron uh peter perg joan completely agree you seem base bro no lie hey little ate joan i'm stuck at 16 subs todd and for christmas and chismas too i kept the affiliate links but no longer make vids for it yeah do what you gotta do but I just couldn't, I couldn't make it make sense for me. If, I mean, maybe if my channel made no money and got no donations, I would need it to pay my rent, right? I, I don't know. <laughs> Daddy Joan, Peter Perg, Little Ate, Joan. Yeah, I just felt like people have been so supportive. I don't want to pause in the middle of it and go, hey, God, sign up for this website I've never used. <laughs> people acting like they're just genuinely using it and shit. Most people can't even afford that website. Come on. I only visit Casa's. The usual timing of the stream is good during normal days. U.S. equities and markets just closed, and Asian markets are about to open. Nice, Crypto Chris. Uh, I only visit Casas. Yeah, I mean, I would get, yeah, I'd get like a fucking Maldives-type bungalow in the middle of the water, or I would go to Barakai Shangri-La. That's the best Shangri-La in the Philippines, hands down. I like Maktan, but it doesn't even come close to Boracay. You could get a spot there for 600 to to 1000 bucks, depending on the room level that you choose. Nothing comes close to that. In America, that'd be a $5,000 experience and it wouldn't even exist. Five star from top to bottom, from the swimming pools to the restos to the, I mean, there is nothing that they missed on the Shangri-La Boracay Island. Todd, we have Juicy Cheese Mus here. Haha, <laughs> Joan. Yeah, guys. I mean, at the end of the day, it just went, Diba Ate, Diba. 
Sigue, sigue. Um, yeah, but, you know, that's just my opinion. I haven't been everywhere, but I know that Shangri-La Boracay is probably my favorite place. I mean, that, Mopin Pick is nice. They have the biggest pool in the Philippines, or in the Boracay. I do like Crimson, although their pool is kind of lacking. Um, I do like the Lind. Their infinity pool is amazing, but that's not a private beach. But, I mean, yeah, I wouldn't spend no thousand bucks for an executive suite in, like, the middle of BGC or Makati or something. It's a waste of money, in my opinion. Diva, right? Diva. Joan, yep, it starts in October. Yes, cheese must, cheese must, guys. 42 watching. Okay, guys, smash the like. But, yeah, I just couldn't do the... Uh, I don't like psych politics and all that. And, yeah, I couldn't do the CF sponsorship. But salute to everybody that did it. A lot of channels don't receive the support that I did. I totally get it. You got to do what you got to do. I see everyone's promoting it. Uh, I just hate when the YouTubers talk like they're using it and like they know for a fact that it's better. Like that Chad kid that gets all those views now made a video about it and didn't say it was sponsored, I don't think. And then I went in the comment section. I'm like, was this a fucking commercial for Christian Filipina? <laughs> Todd's still pushing for October vacay. I think he pushed it back to 2025, but Todd's in here so he can answer. I know him and Joan got a date. But yeah, Joan, you don't have a boyfriend if your boyfriend has never fucking physically seen you. Sorry, Joan. Uh, still going to slum it at the BGC. So I'm going to slum it at the BGC. No, you're not slumming it at all. But you don't need to spend $1,000 a night. You can get a regular standard room at the BGC Shang for 300 bucks. If you're going to propose to your woman, I would go to Boracay Shang and I just wouldn't get the executive level room on a New Year's Eve because it's not slumming it at all. It's really nice, but it's just a skyscraper. I've been there many, many, many times. It's just a skyscraper. If you go to my shorts, I'll show you one of the rooms. It's just a skyscraper. It's not a compound. It's not on a white sand beach. It's not worth a thousand a night, in my opinion. That's all. Probably January 2024 now. I am not from the Philippines, but I lived in the Philippines since 2022. Must ask, how in the world did gossip get renamed Cheesemix? Good question. Todd, better weather in January. Just kidding, Jazz agreed. Yeah, I'm not saying nothing bad. Grand Hyatt and Shang is awesome. Me and my girl went there for Christmas. Uh, I love it. Is it a level of like a compound on the beach? No, that's why the Shang is double priced in BGC. And um, it's, just a, it's just a skyscraper with some nice restos and chandeliers and shit. Coast Barakai looks awesome. Yeah, Joan, yes, ma'am. How's the skate scene out there? Oh, not much of a scene. I saw some skaters in BGC doing some regular tricks or jumping some stairs and security chased them down like they murdered someone. Um, I used to be a skater. I almost went pro when I was 18. I'm still actually a really good skater at 47, but I'm not on the scene too much, to be honest with you. And I've seen that security going crazy. Uh, when you bring your girlfriend to propose Shangri-La Barakai, how many days do you recommend to stay there? And what day do you propose? Or I guess whatever feels right. I would go for two days and I would propose on the second day. And I would make it a surprise from top to bottom so she has no clue what the fuck's going on. And uh, yeah, I would propose on the second day on the private beach, minimal people around if possible. And I would give 0.0, .0 hints that I am going to propose to her. Oh my God, Jazz, at least I am making you rant. Yeah, right? How dare you, Joan? You do not have a boyfriend. Just kidding. Semi-pro at 47? Uh, I almost went pro at 18. Am I semi-pro? No, but I can do like a 360 kickflip. I can do a heel flip late inside. I could ollie a fucking fire hydrant. Um, yeah. Ba, 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 ba. I would not fuck around. Same, same. Yeah, I don't want to break my hand, though, guys. Uh, Serene is actually Tismas in Tagalog, but we use it. Yeah, right. Serene sell Tismas comes from the Spanish word Chismas, gossip. Shangri La, Barakai, five of you. Yeah, it might be 600. I don't know. It depends, guys. Depends. But, um, yeah, if you're good at something like surfing or skating or snowboarding and you're relatively coordinated and you're not overweight, you'll probably carry that with you till you're about 50 years old. Uh, you know, but if you do fall skateboarding at 47, your bones will be a bit more brittle than they were when you were 18. <laughs> Thanks, people. Makes sense. How many lines of matcha today? Oh my God. Double matcha, double matcha. I'm trying to keep it really going after yesterday's live was kind of lit. Oh man. Proposing the public. That sounds a little terrifying. How do people have balls for that? Literally a scared turtle thing, but I guess take sound repair. Okay. Then go to Shangri-La, get one night, get a huge ass fucking suite and propose privately there. 
go back to the room after a nice dinner and have it all set up and do it privately. But get don't get a fucking standard room. Get a get a big boy suite one night, take her out for a nice dinner, zero hints of it happening, and have the staff set everything up and have the ring ready. How about that? Is that better? Serene Self, new term is Maritas for women gossipers. Jesus Christ. I'm shot out of a matcha cannon, guys. What the hell? 1023. Yeah, that's what you should do, bro. That's what I would do. A lot of those might have, like, a little private pool or something. I mean, there's a couple different options. You know, you got the Asia at the end of Station 3. Forget if they have, like, a private little mini swimming pool. It's hard to say, man. But, yeah, that's up to you. If you don't want to do it in public, then, yeah, get a big-ass suite. Just do one night. Make it regular degular somehow that you just got your paycheck or something, so you're trying to spend fucking 60000 on a room. And then have the staff set everything up. Give them a tip. Have the ring ready. When you come back to the room after a five-star dinner, go on the balcony overlooking the ocean. Jesus Christ, I should be charging for this, guys. This is just too good. <laughs> <laughs> I said you're going to be, don't rant, please. Oh, the fucking gym guy? That gym loser that's bisexual? He's out of here. Wait, what do you mean have the staff prepare for the ring ready? Will you do... Don't we keep the ring in our pocket and pull it out? Is this guy trolling me? Okay, bro. Keep the ring in your pocket. Have the staff put rose petals all over the fucking bed and a bunch of flowers and dim the lights. Come on, my friend. I, I feel like you're trolling me. Joan, I call it Mary where it tests. Yep, go balls out. Hopefully it'll be the last time. Exactly. It's a once in a lifetime, boss. Yes, serene self. Maritas for women. Lito for men. I never heard Lito. Hello, Ate, sweetie. You live below the... Is a Latino at... The live below you is at a Latino at a bi bingo hall. Ha ha, Joan. Happy Easter, y'all. Sorry, I'm just a young kid, single, and never happened to me. How old are you? What the hell are you talking about? You're trolling me, dude. Cool stuff. Hello. Holy shit, my friend. Is this Ricky? Yeah, this must be Ricky. Ricky, what are you doing? Ricky, you better super chat right now so we know you're real. I think I need to charge for this, this amazing information I'm giving. Also, pick a date so it's easy to remember. Exactly. I put the ring in my ass at Sogo's at work. Fuck you. <laughs> Yo, Ed Weezy. Happy Easter, Ed. Wow. What the fuck is going on here, Todd? This is fucking sick grandpa. How dare you? You're out of here. <laughs> oh, man. Never take the bait. Never take the bait, guys. Fucking Chippy, you're out of here, Chippy. Just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> Chippy, you're banned. I'm laughing. Yeah, this is ridiculous, guys. <laughs> I mean, am I going to really, like, put together your whole proposal for you? <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Hello, Joan, Todd, Craig, Chippy, and all the high value you guys. What? Two, three, four. Just a young kid. What is your age? What are you, 14? What do you mean you're a young kid? You're proposing to a woman? Treehouse Villa looks amazing at Shangri-La Barakai. I should get that. How old are you, dude? Fun night, Boss Todd. Hey, Ed. On a side note for you regulars, I officially filed last week in the court for my PH citizenship. We'll be dual. Yeah, do a video on that. That'll be huge, bro. That's going to catapult you to 3,000 subscribers, sir. Do a video on that, boss. Boss Delaney. Where's John Coleoni? We need him to call in and tell us about the... Uh, yeah, Jasper's engagement planning. I got a charge. That's a consultation. How dare you? Good luck, PH. Damn, PH. Yeah, that content. Yeah, bro, that would go insane. Like, Becoming Filipino did it, or like a hungry Syrian. You're going to pass me in subs just off that video, sir. I'm telling you. And after I get my gun permit. To oh, fuck, yeah. Now we're talking. Now we see why you're becoming a citizen, sir. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, I mean... Peter Huang, how old are you, dude? Honestly, Peter, let's have an after party at LA Cafe. What the hell, Chippy? How dare you? LA Cafe is not a good place when you are just got engaged, sir. That would be a bachelor party. Good luck. Mid-20s. Okay, you won't even say your name. Hi, new here. Do you no, never, Stonefeather. Um, Mid-20s. Oh, okay. You won't even say your exact age? Usually guys say that when they're old. They'll be like, I'm in my mid-40s. 
Um, okay, Peter Huang, whatever you say, sir. I've had enough of your engagement planning. I think you're a troll account. 25 is not a young kid. When I was 25, I was already doing my thing. Yeah, exactly, expat prepper. 26 turning, okay. Yeah, Peter, you're not a young kid. You've been an adult for seven, eight years. You're, you're a grown-ass man. He doesn't have to. Yeah, I don't, uh, there's no, I'm good, no. Uh, ba 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 mid-twenties, no rush to marry, seriously, ha ha ha. Do not get married. Yeah, well, what are you doing with the good advice? Yeah, that's what I say, guys. I'm shot out of a matcha cannon. What the hell? Get her an engagement present. I sailed every ocean on the planet by 20. Yeah, by 25, I had lived on my own for a really long time. I had, I had done quite a bit at 25. I would not say that I was some little kid that was just some young kid that didn't know how to get engaged to a woman. Hey, Petey, Huang, I got a house you can buy. These are all just new to me. Never proposed and never married. Nice to hear different perspectives and ideas. Okay, does it Tanai Matan Cebu Resort look good on a $200 budget? Yes, very nice place. LTRs are great though. Yeah, yeah, uh, long-term relationship is good. Government contract, not so much. But it's up to you. It's up to you, guys. It's... Peter Huang, the first time is always fun. You start to get it right on the second. Oh, shit. Hit the like button, guys. There are some nice resorts in the fills. Yeah, you got Shangri-La. You got Movenpick and Cebu and Boracay. You have Crimson and Boracay. You have the Dusset Tanai, or however you pronounce that. You have, uh, you know, there's a lot of good places. There's Okada. If you're in Manila, there's uh, City of Dreams. There's the Sofitel. Depends on where you are and what you're looking for. Edwell never said... He has to. I'm just wondering as I'm new here. No problem, Stone Feather. There are some nice resorts in the field. Hit the like button. Guys, it's only 26 likes. I guarantee you by the time I end this, 2,000 people came in and out. Nobody liking the vid, though. But hey, at least uh, Apollo and Neanderthal and Todd supported the stream. So I appreciate you guys. And uh, Chippy Weeks, of course. Uh, very nice places that are off the normal tourist trap. Spend last weekend. Yeah, see, if you really have knowledge or you know somebody like Expat Prepper that knows the little hidden gems, that's good. But for an average guy, you know, they're just going to go to Boracay or go to fucking Bohol or whatever, right? Okay, my bad. 33 people. I am on the manager account. Doesn't allow likes, etc. Okay, fine, fine. No problem. We'll give you a pass this time. 39 people in the building. 27 likes. 42.1, guys, says... Uh, 42,000 Savaronis. All Filipino YouTubers go live when Jasper does. Yeah, isn't that funny? They all fucking go live for 10 hours a day and have nothing to talk about. Just a pair of short shorts and a little top eating pasta. Like, I get it, dude. It's more pleasing to just stare at them for hours. But, I mean, they don't seem to really have, like, a subject. or which, Oh, okay, thanks, guys. I saw a Filipino go live and get a lot of donations last night, too. I was like, wow crazy happy easter to all but yeah they all do because they know this is the prime time slot i taught everybody that go live in the morning evening time in america and these girls will pull they'll maintain over 100 viewers um and they'll get you know fifty thousand views throughout the course of the time period or whatever hit the like three dots in the upper right hit the like okay bounced in and out of my other account gave like okay thanks thanks sometimes with jeebus goes in and out of vanilla cafe but i think she's just buying food dots no, she's a 304. Sorry. Not sorry. Oh, man. Chippy Weez, how dare you? Ba, ba, ba. 10.32. Hero Hunter, you're back. I never knew you left. Okay, Hero. Not bad, not bad. Let's see how the video's doing. Man, it's hard to keep up the energy in these lives. Is the pic yeah, it's Manila Stone Feather. Oh, my iPad just died. Fuck. Oh, not good. Okay, okay. Let me get on my phone and read the chat then. Fuck it. Oh, my iPad just died. Fuck. 
Hi, FCYR. How are you? Earthquake, or are you just rocking the table? Just rocking the table. Blah, blah, blah. Angelica Mukbang Vlogger. Hello. Done like. Thank you. Hi, guys. Hey, FCR. Hero Hunter. Yeah, that is an interesting name, right? Okay, my iPad dies. Let me plug it in, guys. Hard to keep up this energy level, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. It's quite tiring to just keep these lives going just non-stop auctioneer mode. But I can see why people do not do lives. Holy shit, these girls finally figured out how to get subscribers and do everything. They go live and they'll just be staring at their phone, reading the chat. No particular subject or knowledge and they'll have 89 viewers, whatever. New peeps coming in, yeah, definitely a lot of new peeps. No disrespect to Jule's trashy simp channel, but she is trending 5,000 subs a week. Amazing. Yeah, she does crazy sexual titles that are all clickbait, and guys just keep coming back for more. Like, salute to her. She pulled her whole family out of poverty and makes an annual salary every 30 days for like a high-paid Filipina. Slaughtering it. It's an interesting name to Todd. Yesterday was fucked up energetic. Yeah. It's hard to keep up that level of energy, to be honest with you. It's really hard at 47 years old to be that auctioneer, making it so fun as I can and all that. But, you know, that's what people come to this channel for. They want the high energy. They want the auctioneer. They want me to go on crazy rants and diss people and shit. All right, salute Todd. Appreciate you, bro. Yeah, it's one of my spots. Later, Todd. Appreciate you, bro, for the support. Okay, everybody coming out. Everybody's still watching, saying goodbye to Todd. It is 1034. See you, Todd. Salute. Everybody. Yes, yes. Okay, wow. Every single person. This is like a family in here. 32 people. Another earthquake, look at that. Shit, maybe I am having an earthquake, what the hell? Also side note, the pH has lifted restriction on ARs and such, so that's on my list. Nice, yeah, I think you told me that last time or somebody told me that. That's crazy. Whoa, I think we're having an earthquake, guys, fuck. Just kidding. Ingat Palag, I see it. Yeah, well, what are you doing? It's not looking good. Might be trapped up here on the 90th floor, folks. See, I'm going to be like a Filipina now that does lives and just sit there and say nothing. Yes, I'm in the Philippines. We all know that's a legit aftershock, Jasper. It must be. I think I'm having a... Holy shit, guys! <laughs> I remember when you had first... Remember when I was at the Gramercy on the 70th floor? Gotta go have a blessed day and all fun live, no more ranting. Yeah, I guess it's because Todd leaves and you leave. I see how it is. Magni oh shit, I didn't know that. I didn't know that at all, Kubaran. How's the air in the city? I didn't even feel it. How's the air in the city during Holy Week? I heard it's more quiet in the city, everyone in the province. No, there's still a lot of people in the city. The air is always a little compromised in Manila. Later, Joan, I'm eight years old. Here, Hunter, you're eight years old? I gotta ban you. I can't have eight years olds in here. I'm sorry about that, Hero. You're banned. Yeah, I can't have eight-year-olds in here. I'm sorry about that, buddy. Yeah, remember, is back a lot a good place to live? Anyone been there? The camera is shaking. Cool. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. Uh, bless everyone. Whoa, what are you doing? I oh, see you on the gram, Joan. I guess everybody's ending the live themselves. Uh, yeah, I just banned that guy who said he was eight years old. I can't have eight-year-olds olds in here. I'm sorry about that. Um, see you, Joan. I don't know. I guess everyone's shutting down the live. We've had enough, folks. Yeah, it's hard for me to keep up that auctioneer mode just blah, 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 like you know i want to be like these filipinas where i just sit there and don't say much that's the best 44 viewers when i quieted down look at that see you joan okay yeah you're banned hero hunter if you're eight years old i gotta get rid of you i'm sorry about that bud bgc is like miami absolutely malcolm magnificent you are you are honestly correct that's what uh dre said uh two days ago smash that like button 44 people in the building guys Appreciate you, Peter Perg. Oh, 44 down to 31. Not looking good. The calmest ban I've ever heard. 
yeah, I'm too tired. And if he's eight years old, what am I going to do? Rip an eight year old? I personally didn't love Barakai. Damn, that sucks. Should have gone to station one. Or maybe if you had a nice Babaruni with you, you would have liked it. I just Google earthquake Philippines and that's what came up. Okay, thanks, Kubaran. Yeah, um, if he's an eight year old, I can't get into insults and stuff with an eight year old. I just immediately need you to exit. We talk about adult stuff in here, so it's no point. Sure, Gao is rocking and rolling. Sure, Gao, no, sir. Okay, okay. I don't know, I hear it's still going on because, I mean, look at my camera. I have an idea to go live and strap the iPhone to the drone and fly it around and we'll go crazy. Holy shit. Now, we might be having an earthquake, guys, because it's shaking around like crazy. Go live and strap the iPhone to the drone. Oh, that would be fucking crazy. I'm 12. Okay, I have to ban you, Cabrera. I think you're lying, Cabrera. But hopefully that other guy wasn't lying. If you joke about shit like that, I'll immediately ban you. I won't ban you, Cabrera, because I know you're lying. But... If Hero Hunter, you know, if you thought that was a funny joke, that's it. I'm not shaking. I'm not shaking at all. Alexander, yo. No, I think it's really an earthquake, guys. It's aftershocks. Series of aftershocks, folks. Yeah, but then if it fucking crashes, I'm screwed. I know you're kidding. That other guy was probably kidding, too, but it's okay. Yeah, fucking SoGo. Yeah, I'm here at SoGo, guys. If you want to come, just pull up in the lobby. I'll meet you downstairs. Banging your building due to your disrespect. Well, but yeah, I can't get vicious with a supposed eight-year-old, so I just banned him. Hero Hunter. We are in an earthquake watch right now from solar activity. Oh, could be, yeah. Can you live on 800 a month by yourself in Makati? Uh, you get like a super dumpy apartment for like 10k and then you just live on Jollibee or something or like cook food at home every day. Technically you could do it, but I would not suggest it, my friend. Uh, drones have came. Just share the video from the iPhone and some streaming. Uh, drones have canes. Just share the video from the iPhone and some streaming. Okay, guys. No, can't live on 800. Stay home. Yeah, don't come here with $800 a month budget. Could it technically be done if you were like, it was like do or die and you were already here? Yeah, it could. Yo, Jordan Moby Vlog circling back around. All these people in the Philippines are live. Holy shit. That's crazy. All right, guys. I'm going to wrap it up. Salute to... Salute to Apollo Crane, Neanderthal, and Todd. Until next time, guys.